Custom kill messages, fixed underscores. How do you get that? Well, why don't you stick around and find out? So before we can fix any underscores, we first need to enable the custom kill messages. Therefore, if you have Steam, head over to your War Thunder page, lick the cogwheel, go to manage, and then go to browse local files. This will open up a folder. If you have the launcher, just go to whatever directory you have, War Thunder install that, and go to the War Thunder folder. From there, what you want to do is to first go down and find a config file. Now, to properly edit the config file, you need Notepad++. I'll leave a link to Notepad++ in the description. Make sure you have it. If you have Notepad++, click on Edit with Notepad, and you should be taken over to a window looking like this. So at the top, I got the video settings and graphic settings. What you want to do is go down till you find debug. And at the last line, you want to add this line. If you don't have it already, test localization. No, I'll leave this line also in the description below. So you can just copy paste it. And it's going to be a no. What you want to do is take that no and turn into a yes. And most importantly, don't forget to save control S. Boom. Now you also see like a green bar appearing next to all of it, meaning it has saved it. Now, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and check if you have a lang file in your Wathan folder. I have one, but it can be that you don't have one. And in the case you shouldn't have one, just create one write it exactly as it's written lang and it's gonna be an empty folder if you create it first but all you need to do is to start war thunder once and close it again after closing war thunder and checking the lang folder it should be filled with all sorts of files now the next thing you want to do is find menu.csv click that right click it and edit it with Notepad as well. Now you're gonna be taken to this gigantic file and it looks very confusing, but it is not as complicated as you may think. What you wanna do is click on Control F to open a search window. Here it is. And now what you wanna do is to find a line that appears in the game as a kill message. For example, aircraft destroyed. Now what you do is just click on find next and you find this line right here, exp reasons kill aircraft destroyed. Now what you want to do is to take the lines, now you want to keep these inverted commas as they are because otherwise it's not going to work and only change the content inside of these inverted commas. So we take, so we take aircraft destroyed and then we change it. To whatever we like, for example, oh, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. And then once again, save it with Control S. And you don't need to change anything else in here because there is this English line only once. Now, another thing you can add, uh, you can change other things if you want to. For example, landing, you can just take it and then edit it or target destroyed for ground vehicles. Because if you change the upper one, aircraft destroyed, it's only going to apply to aircraft, of course. So if you want to change it for tanks as well, you got to change the bottom one with target destroyed as well. For here, we can, for example, put in... Yep. And then save it again. Now, once you have edited all the messages that you've wanted, here's another important thing to do. Click on menu and then do control C to copy it. Then get out of the lang folder and create a new folder called backup. 
Now you can call it however you want, it's not gonna matter. It's only important that you have it. I already have one, so I don't need it. And it is right here. Now in this backup folder, you basically want to press Control V to insert it. But yet again, I already have the backup here. So you want to paste it into this folder so that you have a backup for later. You may be asking why, but I tell you later. Now that you have all this stuff, let's go into the game and see if the changes are working. Perfect. So as you see, it works perfectly fine. Now, a thing to keep in mind is that whenever new vehicles will be added into the game, these vehicles will have underscores. Underscores will also appear in newly added tasks. So basically, any sort of new element, for example, like uh, history pages with the tasks here, may actually also get underscores in them. Now, how do you fix those underscores? Well, you gotta do the following. If you notice that you got vehicles with underscores in the game or whatever, go to the length folder, select everything with Control A and just delete it. Now it is important that you delete everything so that the folder is completely empty. After that, you wanna relaunch the game, close it again so that the length folder will be filled automatically and then all the files will be here. Now, one side problem. You have deleted everything and therefore have also deleted the menu.csv file, meaning that all your custom kill messages are gone. But wait, there's, there's more. more. No. We have made a backup. Yeah, that's right. We actually came in prepared. Holy shit. And you can take it, press Ctrl C, get out of there, and put it into the length folder once again. Click Control V and then, yeah, that's not gonna be German, lol, <laughs> but take the upper option to replace the existing file with the one you just wanted to insert. And after you've done that, it should be fixed and the underscores should be gone. Now, it is a bit annoying that you have to do this process over and over again when new things will be added, but Gaijin doesn't add new vehicles every day to the game, so it just takes a bit of time but it's relatively easy to do. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope it helped you and I hope it works. If not, check if everything has been done right. And I wish you a nice rest of the day. See ya.